No need to adjust your screens. We are going to have some fun with glowy glass. I've got multiple types here, so I thought I would share. Now, of course, we've got the uranium glass. By the way, for anybody who's curious, this just lights up under a black light. This color. Uranium glass is not dangerous. Probably shouldn't put it in the stove or microwave, but you can eat off of it. It doesn't leach out. If you want to serve off of it, it'll be fine. You can handle it and everything. You'll be fine. In fact, this is 1930s glowy glass okay <laughs> it is a federalist plate piece beautiful and amazing just this one i don't know when this one was made or these two plates were made they are older they are vintage this one is almost almost antique if you, what seven more years you're talking antique full on 100 years old and these back here you can barely see it uh in this light my eyes see it great but in this light it's a little different you see that little green hue inside of it I thought that was uranium glass in these, but now I am thinking it is manganese after the stuff I've just read, uh, or saw. So, and I never would have thought to check that, ever, because it's aqua blue. But it might, I don't know for sure, that might have some uranium glass in it, or it just might just be manganese. Now down here, look, look, I, I, no, I'm not sure if that is selenium or cadmium. Uh, it's beautiful though. It's a bright orange cup and it's glowing. Very beautiful. And it's probably cadmium, just like these pieces are. This one here, which is considered amberina down here. And then this ain't that beautiful. And that is just a bright red cup with the lights on. So, and then you got this right here. I am not sure if that is selenium. I think it's selenium. I think this one here is uh, either selenium or manganese. But selenium is usually pink or peach. That's kind of a yellowish green <laughs> or orange. So let's go with that being um, that all these pieces are, well, that one grows green. But that is definitely um, cadmium. Huh. I don't know. I don't know. And then we got this little weirdo here, which is stone. <laughs> and it glows bright green. Well, it blow, grows green. It's kind of like it's got um, manganese in it, but it's stone. And see that we got two marble pieces back there, and they're just showing up white to you, but purple to me. And then we got jadeite. You see all the sparkles in jadeite? It partially glows. And it's just green with the lights on. Let me show you these pieces with the lights on so you can remember. But I just love these. Aren't they great? A lot of people put these in curio cabinets with black lights over top of them. And they just glow all night long. Alright, so there's your jade eight bowl right there. You guys, pardon these cabinets. They are rusty and old. There's that beautiful orange glass. That, uh, I guess, kite, selenium. I don't know what, what that is. That tall vase right there glows beautifully. There's that beautiful red cup and uh, candle holder. And these are the pieces of uh, uranium. Now, a lot of people are like, I don't know if that glows or not. I don't know if that glows or not. Well, I mean, uranium glass, when it glows, but it glows. There's no mistaking when you got a black light on it. So, it's pretty easy to tell. These, I get it why you wouldn't know, because I didn't know. I couldn't figure it out. You can't really even tell it until you get to a certain angle. You see the green in it. This right here, again, it's aqua. It's aquamarine. <laughs> I would never, I accidentally stuck a black light on it one day while looking at something else. That's beautiful there. Again, the cabinet's rusty. That's adorable. Do you have a buyer lined up for all the uranium glass? I'm gonna show him these too, see if he wants any of these. He's bought quite a bit of glass off of me before at a flea market, so I'm gonna take it out there, see what he thinks. But actually this piece, I might want too much for it. And that one back there too. I don't know for sure. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, I just thought we'd have fun with it. Here's another piece of amberina. But you need to know that only the orangey portions of certain pieces will glow. So like the yellow portion doesn't. The red's got a little bit. But the orangey portions what will glow. So glowing glass is a hot ticket at the flea market. <laughs> um, I've only ever brought a couple pieces out before. Never really tried to sell it or put it out in the front. Put this stuff out in the front. And within the first two hours, I sold all of it for about 70 bucks. I had about 18 in it, so that's not bad. 
I'm, I'm pleased with it.